HVAC with Stephen Rarden is sponsored by True Tech Tools. Quality tools, essential support. TrueTechTools.com. Good morning, YouTube. It is Wednesday, uh, October. <laughs> it's not September anymore. October 11, 2017. The plan for today changed a little bit from what it was supposed to be. Was supposed to be meeting uh, someone to um, pick up a tool, but that's going to postpone for a little while. So stay tuned for that. Instead, I'm running over to my good friend Maloche of Project Maloche. You uh, may have seen those videos, uh, I don't know, almost two years ago now or something. Don't remember when that project started and finished off the top of my head, but um, He's got a fairly simple dryer vent installation that needs to be done. And so I'm gonna run over there and take care of that. But I don't typically stock foil tape. Um, I carry duct tape and mastic tape uh, primarily. But I gotta go grab some foil tape and make sure that I've got what I would need for the dryer vent install. And I figured just for fun, I would see if uh, I could bring you along for the ride. Stay tuned. Well, I had the uh, contractor that's doing this remodel job with me when I got here and uh, didn't want to be rude. but So we've already got the vent cut through the outside wall basically all we need to do now is route it up and bring it here we're using this um, dryer box provided by the contractor and that'll mount between the studs a few inches from the floor and we're just going to come straight in from the back and i think we're going to use this left low knockout to bring the pipe through. it to the outside and get that finalized before I worry myself with taking care of it in here. Getting her done, huh? Yes, sir. Train. Whoa, what's that about? Oh, are you, are you taking a little video? Yeah. Sorry, man. You're fine. I hope there's not sound. <laughs>
really tight. Which means I should be curling them again. I just listened to the Tool Pros podcast on hand tools. And they were talking about pipe crimpers and snips and stuff. And I was thinking about this job. So, kind of cool to be pertinent immediately. And I may have to make adjustment to my angle a little bit, or length maybe. inches or so. Personally, I'd like it to be a good bit lower than that. So I'm going to take, take a little more, more off and go with another three inches maybe. These snips are definitely worn out. They don't cut anything like they used to. my snips but can you like put the wood like you know pipe so it still needs to stick out a little bit so she's got something to connect it to yeah yeah that's just you know in, in theory hey you know what I think I'm gonna do like some sort of a uh, because you have to basically put it but you know what all these drive I love how they're worried about if it's got screen on top or not but every single every single dryer the pipe goes over, not in, which restricts the flow essentially. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. You want me to hold something? No. I'm hold just, something? I'm just trying to get an idea how much more I need to trim on this stupid thing. I don't want to. What it's going to be is I'm going to try to trim it thin and then it'll end up being well I can always caulk it I would obviously like it snug that way it's much yeah. easier to caulk I'll I think I'll caulk it regardless but uh well 
like this actually wouldn't have to have any anything else to it. If it penetrates this much, then it's perfect. You don't have to connect anything else to it. Right. But you know what I was saying, right? Because now to connect dryer and uh, in order to connect it with clamp or anything else, you have to go with hose over, mm -hmm. which creates that edge inside that mm -hmm. will be collecting. Uh, yeah. If you really had to, you could crimp it, but then you've got to crimp backwards, and it does exactly the thing they're trying to avoid. If you crimped it and it went, the air was coming this way, you'd have all those lips to catch trash. I figured it would be much easier, you know, if I go get it. Um, your your labor is more expensive than a piece of plastic. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Ciao. Ciao. Definitely not the best perspective for you guys. It's a good thing I'm fairly thin. get some supports on the pipe once we get it positioned where we want it. Up as much as I think we can afford. And now we'll get some support strapping in there to make sure it holds itself. There it is. It's pretty well secure. It's strapped up over there and down over here it doesn't move around a whole lot so I think we're good it's as short and straight as we could manage so I think we have a project within reason I'm always good about making a mess on the job site but we do clean it up when we're done so anyway thanks for watching like, subscribe, comment, and share. And don't forget, you can use coupon code RARDON at truetechtools.com to get 7% off your purchase. We'll catch you on the next video.